The stagnant war in Yemen is feeling the worst humanitarian crisis in the world, and women and children are taking the brunt of the conflict. America's Kendra Sidden has this report. 400,000 children in Yemen are in the stage of severe acute malnutrition in the war-torn country. Three million women and children are nearly there suffering from acute malnutrition. What do I eat? Nothing. I'm sitting here just like this. A video shows an eight-month-old baby crying, but he is so dehydrated his eyes cannot produce tears. Prolonged malnutrition can lead to a host of problems. The brain struggles to find energy, the heart shrinks, skin cracks, letting in infections. The liver and kidney stop functioning, leading to a buildup of toxins. His displaced mother has brought him to this hospital to save him from extreme hunger. But the doctors do not have headache medicine, much less a way to treat malnutrition. I gave birth to him between the trees. I returned here and we sat in this house. Days later, he got sick, feverish. I don't know. He was fragile. He was in a very bad shape, just as you saw in the pictures. His bloated belly and thinning arms are a sign the body has begun to consume itself, looking for nutrients. The mother is malnourished. What do you expect to give to the child if she suffers from this problem? After his death, this video taken by a doctor is the only record the family has of this tiny victim of the crisis in Yemen. Humanitarian agencies warn the famine could lead to widespread death soon as aid fails to reach people. Yemen is, is one of the countries that is still on the brink of famine, and it's these people, the women and children, who are the most vulnerable. The exact count of how many people have died so far is unknown, but Save the Children estimates 50,000 children died from disease and starvation last year. In one day, we skip two meals and eat one meal. There are many worse than me. You find a thin, desperate child and ask him, why don't you play? He tells me, I am hungry. Yemen's economy and infrastructure crumbled as the Houthi-controlled North endured a bombing and airstrike campaign from the Saudi-led coalition. Meanwhile, support for Saudi Arabia's coalition may be waning, as Sudan is currently assessing whether it should stay in the coalition over its high cost and dozens of soldiers dying. Sudan is threatening to withdraw its 3,000 ground troops in Yemen because it has not seen any economic benefit. Many are stationed on hot battlefields, suffering severe losses, while wealthier nations hold out. In response, Saudi Arabia is courting Uganda in hopes a different African country will send its soldiers to the front lines of the proxy war in Yemen. Kinder Sitton, One American News. We can use your help. Call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call today.